Good morning, everybody. Another new day is here. We're still in Bassano, Alberta. Same place we went to sleep last night. Thank God, because that'd be concerning if we woke up somewhere else. Ugh, throwing the bed up here, cleaning things up, getting ready for the day. Here you go, Chef, come on, get up here. I'm gonna leave that down for you today, okay? No? Hey, no, 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 come up here, buddy. Up here on this. Come on, up, up. Good boy. So we got Chevy with us today, if you missed yesterday's video. Let's get ourselves on the road. Chevy's back there, enjoying one of his grain-free treats. <laughs> so different having him in the truck than Diesel. He's, they're such different dogs, different personalities. See if we can get ourselves on Trans Canada here, and then we're uh, we want to get through the mountains today. We got a long way to go, just under 1,100 kilometers. So we're looking at 600 to 700 miles somewhere in there. All right, everybody's turning. I'm going. Okay, here I go. Just finished going around Calgary on Stony Trail. Just getting back onto the main number one Trans Canada here. Traffic is having trouble finding their uh, accelerator pedal here, but uh, pretty sure they'll find it eventually. There's there's only two, maybe three pedals to pick from. One of them's got to make them go faster. They'll figure it out. So it started snowing just on the other side of Calgary. I'm really hoping that this weather isn't going to follow us into the mountains. Really would like not to have a snowy mountain drive. Uh, I guess we'll see. This city is growing so fast. Every time I come through here, there's a new suburb being built. Yeah. Everybody wants to live in Calgary. I don't blame them, it is a beautiful city very well built and put together. It was well thought out, well planned. Especially coming from like Winnipeg myself. I don't live in Winnipeg, but I sort of grew up in the area there and Winnipeg's the capital city. Winnipeg was not thought out or planned out at all. And I know why, like it, there's been plenty of, uh, there was plenty of small towns that sort of merged together into one city, but that was a long time ago. Even the new roads they built today make absolutely no sense. They go way over budget. They take twice or five times as long as they say it's gonna to take to build it. And then they're garbage within six months to a year again. But you come to Calgary and Alberta and everything is built right. The first time, big freeways, easy access. You know, truck access to industrial areas so that we can get our freight into the city easier. And so that shippers can ship out their freight easier. In Winnipeg, you don't even want to use a GPS because it will always lead you down the wrong roads. Always. It'll always take you through downtown for no reason. Because nothing makes sense even to the GPS. So that's one thing I love about Calgary and I think that's why it's uh, growing so fast. It's just because... They got smart people building it here. But anyways, we're gonna go up a few hills here. These are the foothills leading up to the Rocky Mountains as we're headed westbound. Really hope this snow is gonna lay off and uh, stay in Alberta as we go into British Columbia. I wanna get some fuel here in Alberta before we go into BC because fuel prices and taxes are way higher in BC. So no thank you, I'll fuel here in Alberta. The weird thing about this petrol pass is that the DEF pump is like on the other side of the lot. So you gotta stop here at these, these pumps, fuel up your truck with diesel fuel here. And then you gotta go like around here, around the corner over there to the other side of the lot where you stop at a different pump and you fuel up your DEF tank over there. At least they have DEF, right? But it's the only place I know of where I've got to like move my truck to the fuel. Okay, I need a new like a uh, uh, seatbelt sucker upper thing, the one that sucks the seatbelt back in there. I need a new one. You see, that's where we fueled over there before, right? Now we moved up over here to where we fuel up our DEF. 
One guy in front of me here. Interesting setup, eh? Whatever works. Whatever works, I guess. Oh, Mother Nature, why do you hate me today? Why? What did I ever do to you? Just coming up to the Rockies now. We're not even in them yet, so we have a chance to get through this yet. I really hope it's not this bad all the way through into BC. The camera doesn't really do it justice. It's snowing pretty good. This is borderline snowstorm in my mind. I don't know if we're gonna make it there tonight because we gotta deliver 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Well, Mother Nature's in charge of that. And I bought these new wipers and they suck. They're worse than my old ones. My old ones were all busted up. These were supposed to be winter wipers, specifically winter wipers, nay, nay. No, they're not. They're liars. I got them at Walmart, there's my first mistake. I love you Walmart, but you don't really know what you're doing when it comes to this kind of thing. Okay, then there's snow on the road, I'm gonna take it off cruise. You don't wanna be driving on uh, with your cruise control on in weather like this especially with slush on the road. Hopefully there's no pile-ups or something up ahead. We're gonna slow ourselves down though, just in case. Hope and pray for the best. Knock on wood. The weather cleared up. We're still in Alberta here. We're in Banff National Park. We should be in British Columbia within about a half hour or so, maybe less. And let's hope that this weather holds out. I mean, you look at the top of the mountains up there ahead, it looks kinda kinda sketchy up in the higher altitudes. So it, it might get a little worse for us, but whatever. Bring it on. I got this. Spring is just around the corner now. Like it could pop up any day now. Look at the snow, it's already all melting off the side of the road there up the hill. You, could, you might say that spring is here already. By the time you're watching this, I think spring's what, March 21st? Yeah, spring is right around the corner. It feels so good. Well, what's this sign here on the right? 123 kilometers that way. That's a weird exit sign. It's one of those ones that you can change. All right, buddy, you could have left a little more space, but that was bare minimum. He's got a little fork can on his Civic there. You see that? Bah, bah. You can see those cars are up. I used to have one on my Cavalier when I was a kid. I know. I know. Trucker Josh was a loser. <laughs> Some would argue that he still is. That's okay. That's okay. As long as I can entertain you at the same time, I'm happy with that. Beautiful British Columbia. That's their official slogan. Just crossed into the westernmost province of southern Canada. So this province goes right up to the Pacific Ocean on our west coast and it borders the state of Washington and uh, Idaho to the south. The most beautiful place on earth. Then again, Yukon is just as beautiful. There's just not as much uh, going on up there. I've been up to Yukon. Uh, Britt and I went up there for New Year's a few years ago, which is amazing because they have 24 hour sunlight up there during the summer. So on Canada Day in July, July 1st, they don't have any fireworks because they don't have any nighttime. So what they do is they put double the budget into their New Year's fireworks and have an awesome fireworks show. And we got to see that, so that was pretty cool. That was in Whitehorse, no not White, yeah, Whitehorse, right? Yukon? I always get Whitehorse and uh, the capital of Northwest Territories mixed up. I don't know, I'm not thinking straight right now. We are at our first brake check into BC. I am gonna pull in here, not only to check my brakes, but also to uh, 
well to uh, use that little hut because that is our rest areas in Western Canada. You know, Ontario and Quebec, they get all the money. They get all the nice rest areas, the big on routes, right? This is our on route. Look at it, isn't it cute? Look at this thing. Just a hole in the ground, no sink, no plumbing. And you wonder why we feel left out of everything out in the West out here. All of our money goes over there and they have all these nice things. So first of all, we want to put ourselves on duty and break check. I'm also going to flag this as a load check because I'm going to check my load right away as well. And what that does is uh, it marks it on my log book or on my log, e-log, that I've stopped here and that I got out of my truck, I checked my brakes, checked my load, made sure everything was all right. They want you to check your load every two to three hours, I believe, or is it every three to four? I check mine every two to three hours usually. Uh, when I get loaded, I drive a half hour down the road approximately. I'll check my load, tighten my straps, and then two hour intervals from there. That's just my way of doing things. Why are we idling? I told myself that now that we got our bunk heater fixed, no more idling at all. I want to have the lowest percentage idle rate possible. Because in January and February, we burnt about $1,000 each month just idling to keep the truck and the inside of the cab warm through the nights. Chevy, how are you enjoying your trip so far? Hey, having fun? Oh, yeah. Give him a good sniff. Tell him how you feel. Tell him how you feel. I actually love having Chevy along. I do miss diesel, though. I love having them along for different reasons. Diesel's getting old, though. And he really likes being at home and relaxing. So, you know, it's tough for me to leave him at home, but, you know, if that's what he wants, he'd rather stay at home for a few trips, spend some time with mom and brother. Oh, why is this guy coming here? Chevy, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I know he's wearing a funny hat. I know. It's called a turban. Don't be afraid. It's okay. Let's get back on the road here. Alright. So we checked our brakes. We checked our load. All is good to go. So onward. No wasting time. We need to get through the mountains. At least the weather is agreeing with us now. So that's a good thing. So I just stopped here at the Husky and Golden. Really feels like we're moving really slowly today. Still got a long way to go. Still got like 700 kilometers, a little under 500 miles.
that's how you make this trucker happy. Coffee and a muffin. I love muffins. I don't know why. They make me happy. Look at this guy's load, eh? Wonder what would happen if I put those tires on my pickup. Would that be too much? see every day. I don't know what was going on there. Looks like one guy broke down, the other guy's probably there helping him. But I don't know why he's... I thought it was a head-on crash at first. <laughs> Good thing it wasn't. Well, we're in Kamloops now. We made it. Still got about three, three and a half hours to go down to our destination. It's getting pretty late. I'm getting pretty tired. So, we're gonna stop in here and grab a coffee. Ah. Uh. One more coffee today yet. Ugh. Oh, I just gotta go a little bit further. I have four hours and 12 minutes available to me on my clock legally. Chevy. Chevy, what you what you eating there, buddy? What you eating? Are you eating one of your treats? One of your pigskin treats? Your grain-free, chicken-free? Allergy free treats. Look at you go. Good boy. Ow. I'm a little excited apparently. I'm really tired. So uh, we made it up to Chilliwack, British Columbia. And this is where we're calling it a night. I'm just quickly editing the video and. Oh, excuse me. We're going to go to bed and uh, start the day here tomorrow. We got to deliver in the morning. And then we have a reload back up in Barrier, BC, which is north of Kamloops. For some lumber, some fancy lumber that we're gonna have to tarp. It's not gonna be fun, but I'm glad you're gonna be there. We can do this together. All 90,000 of us. We are almost at 100,000 subscribers, everybody. I have no idea where you're all coming from, but we're having a surge of subscribers lately and a su surge of views. Thanks guys, I don't know where you're from, but uh, let me know down below in the comment section where you're from and where you heard about me from. I'd love to know. I'd love to know where this new traffic is coming from. Thanks guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm tired. <laughs>